Hey, Master Gardeners. Yesterday, I got a phone call from a client who had southern flannel moth on her daylilies. And she was in an uproar because they live in a townhouse area and they were so concerned that the children were going to see these beautiful little flannel moths and they were going to get stung and that the children were, well, she was in great fear because she'd been Googling them and found out that these were venomous caterpillars and she was sure that the children were, were going to die and they were in absolute fear of these caterpillars. So I went and I collected about seven of them that were on their different plants. And I wanna show them to you today. They are very beautiful. So you can see why children would want to come near and touch them. And I have a friend with me today, Josh M, who is an avid naturalist and who likes to collect insects as well. And he's gonna show you how friendly these Southern flannel moths really are. These are even beautiful when they're adult moths. So Josh, show, these really aren't as, they, even though they're venomous, there's only like seven or eight venomous caterpillars that there are. And even though they sting you, usually within 24 hours or so, those stings can subside. And it's the hairs, right, Josh? Is that the part that's gonna sting us and cause this problem? No, they actually have branching spines underneath the hairs. So branching spines that are gonna get, so when your hands touch them, and go into them, that's when you're gonna get that stinging action occur on your body. And it can cause adverse reactions in certain people. And what color is the caterpillar itself, Josh? Mostly kind of like a translucent gray, creamy. So underneath, it's kind of a translucent color underneath. It's Not that I wanna get him stung underneath. <laughs> And what kind of plants do we typically find them on? You were saying they're on a lot of different plants, yeah, right? These, these are po uh, incredibly polyphagous, so they will eat a lot of broadleafed plants. And it's, I mean, daylil is monocot, so they're not very specific as to what they want to eat. So what are we going to recommend to people? If you were to find these on your plants, they're going to want to kill them, you know, because they're going to afraid that their kids are going to get stung. And so what are we going to recommend to people at home that are finding these? Nope. Collect just, them and put them in the woods somewhere? Just leave them alone, instruct your kids not to handle them. As you can see, you can handle them if you approach them from below, but do your best not to not to mess with them and they won't mess with you. So, they're a native species and they're uh, important to our biodiversity. And what's their name? It's uh, This is a southern flannel moth. Uh, the genus and species is Megalopygi opercularis. So if you find these on your plants at home, don't, don't kill them. This is the final instar. They go through four to five instars at home. And this is in the latter stages. You can see there's little white spots on the outside of them. Uh, where's the real pretty one? Let me turn this one. So you can see the little white spots on the outside of the flannel moth that indicates the latter stages of the instars. And this is the head part. And the tail has the little darker portions on the back end of it. So anyway, a beautiful little caterpillar that can be found. Yeah, you don't want to be handling it. You don't want your children handling it. But honestly, uh, when they talk about it stinging, I wouldn't want to be stung by, I wouldn't want to step in a yellow jacket's nest and get stung by 15 yellow jackets either. So there are other venomous, you know, dangerous animals in your neighborhood that you want to be afraid of as well. So don't touch these southern flannel moth but n not much more dangerous than some other bees and things yeah. that we can tangle with. Yeah, they're very, they're very slow, so just give them the respect they deserve. Yep, there you go, Master Gardeners, flannel moth.